all about Cape Verde. Cape Verde or Cable Verde, officially the Republic of Cable Verde, is an archipelago and island country in the Central Atlantic Ocean, consisting of 10 volcanic islands with a combined land area of about 4033 square kilometers. Cape Verde has three distinct seasons, determined by the activity and intensity of the dominant regional weather systems, identified in a transition season, November to February, a dry season, March to June, and a rainy season, July to October. Annual temperatures have a low temperature range. Cape Verde was the first European colony in a tropical climate and could be considered as the starting point of Portugal's colonial empire. The first settlement on Cape Verde was founded in 1462. That was 30 years before Columbus arrived in the Americas and it was called Ribeira Grande. Cape Verde culture is built on music, storytelling and food. The only ways enslaved people transported here could express themselves under Portuguese rule. These days, islanders still sing as they work, strum the viola after dinner and celebrate carnival and saints fiestas with a West African flourish. With an average of 8 sunshine hours a day, January is Cape Verde's coldest month. Saying this, you will still experience pleasant temperatures of up to 24 degrees Celsius, making it a great month for adventurers to go out and explore the more rugged mountainous islands, such as Santo Antao and Sao Nicolau. Cape Verde is famous for its warm tropical climate volcanic islands, wonderful musicians and delicious cuisine. Americans may not have heard much about Cape Verde but Europeans are much more familiar with the islands as a winter escape. Just as much as the rest of the world. The economy of Cape Verde is a service-oriented economy that is focused on commerce, trade, transport, and public services. Cape Verde is a small archipelagic nation that lacks resources and has experienced severe droughts. Some interesting facts about Cape Verde that you should note are the archipelago is made up of 10 islands and 5 islets. Cable Verde is the third largest nesting site for loggerhead turtles. Also, only half a million people live in Cape Verde, with the majority on Santiago. Santa Luzia is the archipelago's only uninhabited island. In 1951, Cabo Verde was incorporated as an overseas department of Portugal, but its inhabitants continued to campaign for independence, which they achieved in 1975. 
since the early 1990s, Cape Verde has been a stable representative democracy and has remained one of the most developed and democratic countries in Africa. Corn and beans are staples of Cape Verdean cuisine. Also popular are rice, fried potatoes, cassava, and vegetables such as carrots, kale, squash, fish, and meat such as tuna, sawfish, lobster, chicken, grilled pork, and eggs. Just like Elder said, Cape Verde culture is built on music, storytelling, and food. The Cape Verde Escudo is tied to the Euro at CV Escudo 1110.265 equals 1 Euro. Banks will exchange hard currencies. Large hotels and restaurants accept some credit cards and payments in euros. English is reasonably widely spoken in Cape Verde in tourist spots such as hotels and museums. Prevalence has grown over the last few years with an influx of foreign English-speaking workers into the country. The majority of the population of Cape Verde is Roman Catholic, but a flourishing Protestant mission is based in Praia with a publishing venture in Fogo. In practice, Catholicism is often enriched with African elements. In Cape Verde, you can enjoy food and drink. Local drinks belong to Cape Verde, both without and with alcohol. Most Cape Verdeans dress in Western style clothing. Use clothing from the developed countries like the US and the European nations are often sent here to meet the needs of the locals. The panels are unique strips of cloth that have been woven on the narrow loom of West Africa. The typical greeting in Cape Verde Island would be Oi Manera Busta, which basically means Hello, how are you? Cape Verdeans are not huge on handshake, but they're more on soul kisses. And it would be two kisses. In Cape Verde Island, you give two kisses, one on each side. Cape Verde has a very dry tropical climate with low rainfall and lots of sunshine year-round. Cape Verde has an enviable climate and good to visit at any time of the year. The hottest month of the year is September with an average daily maximum of 31 degrees Celsius and an average low of 25 degrees Celsius. Most people of Cape Verde are Creole or of mixed white and black descent. A genetic study of the country's inhabitants found that the population's ancestry is mostly European in the male line and West African in the female line, with a percentage of 56% African and 44% European. Some of the best places to stay in Cape Verde include the Santa Maria, Sal Bay, Mindelo, Tarafal, and Praia. <music>